pressure bill into wearing his own from the innovative TV comedy, The Ernie Kovacs Show. Now, Ernie Kovacs pioneered that library trick way back in 1957. Go figure. I'd like to uh, give a big thanks to Robin Leach for stopping by our studio. Thanks, Robin, and watch his uh, show March 9th about the Madonna. Hey, are you one of those people who keeps hearing that the kids in the hall are the funniest guys around, but you never get to see them? If you are, we got news for you. You can catch the kids in the hall 9.30 p.m. every night of the week right here at Comedy Central. No Sunday show, but uh, hey, even kids have to rest come Sunday. So now there's no excuse for being out of the kids' loop. You know, we love giving out SASC buttons, but I, I have a couple of questions for Mr. Dana Gerds of Eastford, Connecticut. Dana sent a request for buttons on some very thin paper. Now, we want to know what it was, so we gave a paper sample to our SASC crime lab, and they tracked it back to the second floor men's room, third stall at the Hydro Conduit Corporation in Warrigan, Connecticut, where Dana worked. So, Dana, thanks for thinking of us, uh, and go wash your hands. And uh, we'll be sending you a button along with some excess dignity. Uh, if anybody else doesn't have one, it's only because we don't know your address. Write us at Short Attention Span Theater, Box 730, Madison Square Station, New York, New York, 10159, or you can fax me, easy to do, fax me at 212-512-7926. Send in those cards and letters, but please, no more TP, Dana. Coming up on uh, tomorrow's comedy update, Dennis Leary makes the calls, Bill Cosby comes home, and trouble, trouble on the set of In Living Color, lateration. at Comedy Central Watch Mystery Science Theater 3000 at 7. Richard Lewis hosts the A-List at 9. The Kids in the Hall are at 9.30. Saturday Night Live is at 10. And at 11, watch Stand Up. Stand Up with Wally Collins. Mystery Science Theater 3000, show 415, ruin. In the not-too-distant future, next Sunday, A.D., there was a guy named Joe, not too different from you or me. He worked at his Monic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the plate, but his boss seemed like a student shot him in the face. With an easy movie, the worst we can find. You'll have to sit and watch them all And the we'll monitor is mine Now keep in mind Joe can't control Where the movies begin or end Because he used those special parts To make his robot Robot, we call Camus Okay, let's see what we got here. Tom's got paper again. Scissors cuts paper. I win! Okay, Crow. It's our turn. Okay, come on. Come on. One, two, three. Okay, as you can see here, Crow's got scissors. Rock crushes scissors. And ah! Okay, let's do it again here. Oh, hi, everybody. Welcome to the Satellite of Love, and uh, Joel and the Bot's here, and I was just teaching the boys about a game we used to play on Earth when I was a kid called Rock, Paper, Scissors. Okay, let's do it again. Okay. One, two, three. Fifteen seconds. Joel, I hope you're not playing too rough with those two. No, ma'am. Okay, here we go. Ah! Ah! Oh, what was that for? Yeah, Joel, play fair. Did you just call do over, Crow? What? Crow calls do no, over. I okay, didn't let's do over. The three of us this time. Okay. One, Way to go, two, Crow. My arm's getting numb. Okay, let's see. Hmm. 
Oh, looks no. like he's got paper again. I'm always Rock. paper. Go, Cuts so paper. Oh, okay. And uh, oh, no this is kind of interesting because look at look at this crow. I like, said you got scissors and oh. I got scissors hey. this time. Isn't that something? I, I guess that makes us even then, huh? Well, no, mine are really sharp scissors. Oh. 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 Commercial sign. Okay. Three, two, one. Commercial sign. Now. You guys want to play mumbly peg now? No. This program is brought to you by Gyna Lotrimin. That's not what you told me to use last time. Last year, doctors recommended Gynalotrimin more than ever before. Well, what about the product you used to give me? Last year, Gynalotrimin became the choice of more and more doctors. It cures yeast infections fast. How fast is it? Gynalotrimin starts working on contact. Nothing you can buy works faster. It must be good if you're recommending it. Find out for yourself why Gynalotrimin has become the choice of more and more doctors for a fast cure. You're on the set. When the lights come up and the camera starts to roll, there's no place to hide. And even one flake of dandruff, even one, can ruin it all. That's why I use Head & Shoulders. You know, it's even better than it was just a couple of years ago. Today's Head & Shoulders gets to 10 times more of the places dandruff starts. Put it to the test. Prove it to yourself. Head & Shoulders and Head & Shoulders 2-in-1. Because great hair can't have flakes. It's here. At last, a contact lens for people who thought they couldn't wear contacts. A contact lens that lets your eyes receive more of what they need most. Oxygen. Introducing Envision. Envision. Made of an advanced new material, it lets your eyes breathe easier, with less irritation and discomfort. Boston Envision. Ask your eye care professional about it. For more information, call 1-800-ENVISION. Oh, yeah? Well, you should ask these little charmkins what I found oozing out of my pillowcase this morning. Mm. Oh, you little baby. It could have been a lot worse. Yeah, at least we killed them before we stuffed them in there. Yeah. He knew it, you three. Freebie and the Bean are calling. Greetings, homunculus. Let me set up this week's invention exchange. Now, well, let me guess. They're good luck troll costumes. Are these good luck troll co Hey, you wrecked my reveal! Can we just get out with this, please? Man, Shut up, Frank, or I'll let the dog play with you. Uh... Face it, boobykins, the good luck troll doll is a real popular item, and we want to be popular, therefore deductive reasoning demands these adorable troll costumes. Whatever happened to empiricism? That's too, Frank. Imagine the coos of young college girls as they place you in their purse for good luck, or, or better yet, place you on the nightstand and rub your belly. Oh, yeah, I mean, nothing makes a co-ed melt more than looking like a combination of Michael J. Pollard, Yahoo, Sirius, and Buddha. I mean, I can think of five... Re Frank! Get out of here. Yeah. Frank, get back here! Frank! Make with your invention exchange, Wishnik. Well, I'm wearing it. It's for people who love the game of pool or pocket billiards and want to take it with them wherever they go. It's called Pocket Pool, and it comes complete with green felt underwear and this handy ball dispenser. All right, guys, let's rack them up. Hey, I thought this was going to be pocket lawn darts. No. No, I don't want you guys to put any... Uh, Beer glasses on me or cigarette butts, all right? Eight ball deluxe, stop talking and start chalking. <laughs> all right, gentlemen, the game is eight ball, and I break! Ooh. Oh, I got stripes. How do you know? I just know, all right. Okay, now, this one's, uh, 13 off the side, off two rails, and a kiss off the six. 
Oh, I scratched. <laughs> uh, that means I'm up, right? Uh, hey, yeah. you got a snooker down there. Hey, get out of there, you. Oh, All I'm right. Like, I'm going to have to use the bridge for this. Oh, let me... Wait a minute. Nothing doing. Oh. What do you think, sirs? I think you need to work on your English, Willie Moscone. Now, your experiment today is called Beatniks. Beatniks? Great! I love that stuff! You have no clue what you're about to endure. Beatniks? Man, I love those guys. Man, I'm gonna grow up my troll patch and really get the establishment, man. <laughs> I have seen the best guys of my emanation deployed by badness. Coo, coo. Coo, coo. Oh, 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 oh. Into the theater, Ferlin Getty. <laughs> Frank, baby. <laughs> Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Sure. Can't out. I can't see anything. Congratulations, you're one second into the film. <laughs> oh no, the plaster's coming off. I said no, not Ram. Here's your you stupid cake. Was the woman to be addicted? Oh, oh, what a lovely oh. cake, yes, <laughs> Thank you. I'm afraid it's still a bought, but the cinnamon is mine and still. Cinnamon? Yes, it's settled to the bottom of the cake. Congratulations. Oh, how nice. Yeah, we're going to light that candle. Uh -huh. What's this dude, does he put it on with the hypodermic? <laughs> well, what else? <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up! That's beautiful. Oh, how nice. Now, since it's your engagement and your cake, I think you ought to cut it. All right, thank Blow you. Blow the candle yeah. out. I guess I forgot the knife. Oh. Why the one candle? Well, to tell you the truth, I've never given an engagement party before, and I don't know whether it's appropriate. To stab you? Anyway, I thought it looked kind of pretty. One candle, first engagement, first ten and for Cynthia. The first and last engagement, first vote. Right, honey? Right, Ken. Maybe. Have I lost a candle? Uh -huh. Why not? Yes, we all wish you good things. We wish you a long life, many children, and a happy marriage. Well, we should say that out loud. It may not come true. What do you mean it may not come true? Oh, uh, still wish this Cody an old superstition, Ken, that's all. Take it back, take it yeah, back! I'm, uh... I'm very superstitious. That explains why you have garlic in your underwear. Oh, thank you. Plant Bill never eats my plaster cake at home. Clamp, sponge, suture. Oh, we got a bleeder. There's butter squirting all over. Sponge. Sponge cake. Thank you. Will you uh, pass the ketchup, please? Oh. Oh, that's wonderful, Jesse. Very good. Oh, there's a layer of squirrel in here. You know, really, your, your engagement came as a kind of surprise. It's... Seeing as we're engaged. How did it happen? Oh, come on now. Do you want to tell me all the clinical details? Oh, I don't want any clinical details. It must have been very romantic. I just thought it would be nice to hear about it. Well, I think it's an embarrassing question. Oh, no, that's bad, though. I don't mind. Well, Jesse, Ken had asked me to marry him before, so it wasn't really so sudden. In fact, mm -hmm. I've been thinking about it for some time. You didn't tell me she was playing hard to get if you want to know the truth, Jesse. <laughs> shut up, shut up! Excuse me. Excuse me, i got to go toss a cake. <coughs> well, anyway, one day, last week, I got by the nurse's school. Oh, damn frosty crap. Too much flour. I hate those babies, non perils, whatever you call them. Uh, <laughs> Uh, well, that's his secret. He's got a really nice skull. Mm -hmm. What, a toast? I don't know any toast. Anyway, toast is to be drunk at, uh, at marriages and weddings. I think we're uh, getting a little ahead of ourselves. All right. I'll propose a toast. Here's to the party getting better. To my bride to be. Props, props. Most beautiful girl in the world from. The luckiest guy in the world. And here's to the most depressing party I've ever been to. Thank you. Whoa. Look at that. He really snaked it in there. Look at him go. Ooh. Oh, oh, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to help me get the coffee, please? Uh, yeah. Why don't you two just do it on the table? What a beautiful party. And what? 
Hey, can we get some coffee in here? We're thirsty in here. Okay. Any ice cream? You are downright insulting. You could have at least approved the toast when I asked you. I just thought it was your idea. It wasn't mine. Oh, look, at Pete's sake. Well, that's Pete now. I'll get it. Hello. Oh, yes, hello. This is Pete and Props. Don't eat the cake. Yes, he is. All right, hold on. No, oh, even the phones for you, Mr. Wonderful. It's for you, Ken. Oh, let's see the phone service. Excuse oh, me. does the great doctor have a phone yes, service? Got doctor. Phone service, following around town. Well, how else are my patients going to get in touch with me if they have to? Ken, I was kidding. <laughs> what a dickweed. Hello, Dr. Martin here. Yes, I'm more important than him, uh-huh. Yes. Yes, he is a dickweed. Oh, yes. Yeah, en route, yes, too. I understand. Well, uh, how long ago did she call? Hmm. Mm. I see. Mm-hmm. Well, yes, I'll get over there right away, of course. Well, when's our tea yes, time? Okay, thank you. Mm. Well, I'm going to go over to the morgue and cheer up. Double Yes, one of Dr. Doyle's old patients, Mr. Harvey. Oh, she's, she's a big rabbit, you say there. You know, Dr. Doyle hasn't been feeling too well lately. In a bed for a couple of days with a virus fever, so I'm elected to go see Mr. Harvey. Mm. Oh, I see. I won't be able to drop you off at home on the way either, honey. Oh, Mr. great. Harvey, Nobody's going to help me clean up. I've got to get there in a hurry. Oh, well, that's all right. I'll take a cab from here. I'll get your coat, Ken. Don't oh, touch me. I, uh, don't know how long I'll be. I... I'll come back for you. <laughs> well, Ken, why don't you call us when you find out more about it? We may not want you back. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay, honey. Thanks for the laugh. Sorry, I'm going to miss out on the Russian roulette. <laughs> well, there goes the life of the party. <laughs> Sorry to cut out on you like this, Jesse. It's a slow party while it lasted. Well, we all understand, Ken. Let's see, honey. Uh, goodbye, Ken. Bye. Bye. Another alcohol-free party ends in shame. This little playlet has been brought to you by the Booze Council, reminding you to always stock up on alcoholic beverages for all your social occasions. Because booze really satisfying. Booze takes a dull party and makes it better. Booze makes you popular and heals all wounds. B-O-O-Z-E Booze. Coors cut a non-alcoholic brew. Tastes so much like beer. It'll fool the mouth for the taste of beer. Let the cut of flow. Your body knows the difference but the mouth don't know. Or taste. Coors Cutter, your body know the difference, but your mouth don't know or taste. Mm, Coors Cutter, your body know the difference. Cutter tastes like beer because it's brewed like beer. But your mouth, <laughs> don't know. When the camera starts to roll, even one flake of dandruff can ruin it all. That's why I use Head & Shoulders. You know, it's even better than it was just a couple of years ago. Today, it gets to ten times more of the places dandruff starts. Because great hair can't have flakes. My mom's got a cold. A bad cold. And a sore nose, too. So I'm taking very good care of her. Kleenex Ultra. The really sucks to me with the potion. Actually, there's a lotion in new Kleenex Ultra tissues. An oil-free lotion. So unlike others, they're never oily. Only ultra soft. I know a lot about bad cold. Shoo! I had the same one last week. New Kleenex Ultra. Ultra softness is all you feel. Give it to them. Cool with light. Cool with light whip topping. The luscious taste of whipped cream with one half the fat and only eight calories per serving. Cool with light. You can go. You can go. Once in your lifetime comes the magic of truly great music. Loved by millions around the world, these are the greatest romantic melodies of our time. most memorable and relaxing hits. Piano by Candlelight. On three cassettes for only $19.99 or two compact discs for just $24.99.
to order Piano by Candlelight. Use your credit card and call 1-800-759-1080 or send 1999 for three cassettes or 2499 for two compact discs plus $4 shipping and handling to Piano by Candlelight, P.O. Box 11066, Department 50, Chicago, Illinois, 60611. Tonight at Comedy Central, Richard Lewis hosts the A-List at 9, the Kids in the Hall are at 9.30, then Rob Lowe hosts Saturday Night Live at 10, Stand Up Stand Up with Wally Collins is at 11, followed by the Triple Crown of Comedy, and at 12.30, watch London Underground. Hey, it's daddy o Yeah. It's diamonds on my windshield and it tears from heaven. If I'm pulling into town on the interstate, I got a steel train in the rain. And what? Dad, I have to go to the bathroom. Go ahead and pour it, please. Hey, okay, thanks for the milk, wine, beer, and ice cream. Oh no, they're gonna do Kabuki Theater. Let's go. All right, let's stop. Let's do some crimes. Yes, we were expecting you. <laughs> you got under our motor, but you're being held up. What do you do? All right, Pop, where'd you hide the rest of it? Same place like last time. That's good. Now, where's the fishing lures? I want a new Ray Stevens tape. Just the jerky. That's the ashes. That's my uncle. Shh. Don't you boys ever help anyone else? Sure, but we like you. I thought you liked me. How much we owe you, Pop? Be my guest. Oh, no, what do you think we are? Moochers? Come on, Moochers. Let's go. They robbed Paul Wellstone. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. That's the government for you. Stay away from that phone, Pop, or we'll give you trouble. You want the double bag? Oops, wrong car. Hey, did you get me a zag nut? Ooh. One will make for a fun quality youth film. The boat nicks, okay. Oh. Where's Joe Flynn? Travis Pickle? Sometimes I wish the rain would come down and wash away all the scum of the city. Oh, is the great Martha Wentworth going to be in this film? Oh, is the great Crow going to do that joke every movie? I know Grandma lives around here somewhere. Dad, Billy keeps hitting me. All right, you two cut it out or I'll turn this thing right around. Uh, no, Grandma lives on this street. I recognize Look, could we just pull over and ask for directions? I know where I'm going. Daddy, Billy's pulling my arm. Uh, the family car trip sketch, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well, you just, well, you just can't leave I'm it. I'm tripping. It's against oh, the thing. law to obstruct traffic. Well, what will I do? <laughs> just keep down. Hmm? Hey. Get in. We'll push you out of the way. Okay, but uh, take it easy. Sandra Bernhardt. Oh, thanks a lot. Can I give you something for that? Hey, what's the matter with you punks? We're beatniks. Look what you've done. What's the matter with you kids? You want to ruin the car? Well, take it easy, Ace. We didn't mean to bend that pretty eye on of yours, but Iris is just learning how to drive. Isn't that right, Iris? That's very funny, isn't it? <laughs> very funny. <laughs> Half the time I don't understand your generation sumo. Come on, Red. Oh, yeah, you <laughs> Oh, Iris, where was you? I thought she was going to help out. Did just you make you me? Did you make me mad? Yeah, we was all shopping. For danger. Shopping, shopping with what? The whole bunch of you ain't never seen a quarter in one piece. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What do you call that? Oh, gee, boy, I didn't mean nothing. Boom shadow, boom shadow. Hear what I said? Hear what I said? 
Drink your bottle of A1 and shut up. You big wheel? <laughs> no, I don't want to be a leader. Leaders got too many things in their minds, man. I just got time for one thing, Eddie. One thing. <laughs> I don't get you. Must be some obscure conceptual thing. How much you think we got, Eddie? Yeah, let's see. Uh, three Twinkies, some like Zot, a Mars bar. Not bad. That's about a hundred apiece, but four ways. Five ways, punk. Oh, well, right, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, what do you have? Uh, chicken fried steak. Can I use the phone? Oh, the chicken fried phone is good, too. Come on, Anita. Get a little service over here. You got a bunch of live ones. That lady's got an ice bag on her uh, head. Live ones, live ones. A bunch of wise ones. Hear that, Chuck? The old lady's a gad. <laughs> yeah, a real gad. <laughs> I don't know. It could be a loose battery connection, but I'm not sure. I think it's my lips are sagging but and my nose is elongated. Lips. Wait a minute. It's in front of Nadine's diner on, uh... Hey, what street is this? 4th Street. Thank you. 4th Street. On 4th Street. The house of... Oh, you get over right away. Well, thank you very much. Oh, well, we got a call put sore. Hey, fellas, tell me, where'd you get the... Oh, where'd you get all the money? She's one of the Snoop sisters. Oh, oh come on, Iris. Tell your old mama, where'd you get the money? Oh, I thought short and sold long. Mama. Dry up and you go out there and get us some chowdy. Ah, sure I will. How would you all like some nice chicken fried steak? Huh? No, but just for my gold, 56. Operator, this is Harry Bayless. I want to place a call to the Harry Bayless Agency in Los Angeles. That's fine, sir, but you won't be in. Iris, leave it alone. You'll get it later. Oh, I'll tell you. I was just looking for some chicken with the jukebox. Oh, come on. Okay, okay. Just one fun size Snickers. Go have yourself a ball. But don't play Marine McGovern. No, operator, I haven't got any more coins. Now, look, uh, just reverse the charge. It's my own office. Okay. Yes, thank you. Come on, Eddie, let's rock. Ew. Oh, come on, baby, just one dance. These kids look like they like to have a lot of fun. Okay, it's got to be a stroth waltz, okay? Dish of ice cream, don't help me. Sing to me, baby. Get off my back, will you? Hey, that's a punchline to a dirty joke. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Eddie. Okay. Rock candy, baby, you're mine. Ooh. Leather coat, dish of ice cream. Duckville hair. Hey, keep it down. I'm eating a bagel over here. Call me wild. Oscar Wilde. I don't care. Yeah, Helen, I got the quartet all set the hilltop out. Oh, and I think I got gigantism. Helen, I can't hear Connor's jukebox. Playing it cool. Playing it cool. Real slick. A bar with a crazy chick. Oh, Francis Farmer? Sideburn don't need your sympathy. Shapoopy, shapoopy, shapoopy. Slow down, they tell me. Yeah. In fact, they tell me oh, to oh, shut up. Oh. But how can I? Down. Hey, I'm moving too fast. Ooh. Save your tears. Hey, girl, I can make a call. Hey, Don't cry for me. Argentina. I'll get along. Whoa. Just let me be. I'm resolved. I will kill them. Don't need your sympathy. Ah, possible thumb. I'm impressed. <laughs> oh, yes. You know, he sold more records than Elvis or the Beatles. Don't need Where? Mm -hmm. your sympathy. Joel, these are some beatniks. Whoa, doggy. Really, really beatniks. I mean, you want to see beatniks? This is the movie that has beatniks in it. Yep. Hoo boy. 
Who are we trying to kid? These people are no more beatniks. They're not even boatniks. Beatnik guys don't wear sensible Sears windbreakers, and beatnik women don't wear campfire girl neckerchiefs. If these people are beatniks... If these people are beatniks, then Pat Boone is a beatnik. Cardinal Stritch is a beatnik. Yeah, yeah, if these people are beatniks, then my mom's a beatnik, and she's not. Carousel had more beatniks than this movie. I mean, come on. A real beatnik would blast across Route 66 with a bottle of George Stickle and a backseat littered with empty cans of Iron City beer. I was hoping to see week-long heroin jags and hey, Jack hey, sitting hey, poker hey, face hey, with bullets ch back to the... Ch 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 uh, I think they get the point, okay. Tom. I think that uh, it'd be a good time to take this opportunity to teach the people at home and in transit some of the telltale signs that you're probably not a beatnik, okay? Oh, uh, good idea. Because either you are or you aren't. And these people aren't the beatniks. Uh, right, right, yeah. okay. Right, for example, if you own more than two polo shirts... You're, you're not, not a beatnik. Right, if you own even one Night Ranger album... You're, you're not, not a beatnik. If you find yourself saying things like, I'll be right over after I clean up... Or, hey, come on, I really like the gym teacher. Or, could you please pass the spring rolls? You're, you're probably, probably not a beatnik. beatnik. Or if you own a monthly bus pass... Unless it's a pass to Ken Kesey's bus... You're not a beatnik. Capiche? Done. Feels good. Beatniks! When Alan King talks with the great comedians, you get a view of comedy from the inside out. Some of my best ad libs have taken six, seven hours. You come out now, you get a standing ovation. Well, the audience is surprised that I can walk. Burns, Klein, Arnold, Reiner, they know from funny. Alan, get them talking. Directing an actress to do an orgasm in front of your mother is something that I highly recommend to everyone. Watch Alan King, Inside the Comedy Mind, Sunday at 11.30, here at Comedy Central. Move it. Cool it. Silver. Bullet. Rock it. Smooth it. Silver. Bullet. Play it. Pull it. Take it. Taste it. Live it. Love it. Say it. Play it. Take it. Pull it. Silver. Bullet. It's the right beer now. Grab it while you can. Silver. If you think your face is special, other people will too. So use Noxzema every time you wash. It's better than soap. Dissolves oil without over drying for healthy looking skin. My face belongs to Noxzema. If you're scared of the dark, don't be. This one comes with its own light. Experience Milky Way Dark. Are your teeth flat? Does your dentist know that? Of course. That's why he uses special instruments to clean between teeth. Well, now there's a new instrument you can use at home. Introducing Crest Complete with one-of-a-kind rippled bristles. Like a dentist's instrument, Crest Complete reaches between teeth up to 37% farther than the leading flat bristle brush. So to help maintain a dentist clean at home, get new Crest Complete. Only Crest could make a brush this complete. A free back-to-back -back home run offer from the Sporting News. Home run number one. A free home run video. The power, the glory. Major League Baseball and the Sporting News have created a new video. The 50 greatest home runs in baseball history. And it's absolutely free with your paid subscription. The myth makers, the record breakers. They're all here and they're all yours when you subscribe to the Sporting News. But only if you call this number for this amazing TV offer. Home run number two, four free issues of the Sporting News. You'll get four free issues of great baseball, football, basketball, and hockey coverage. If you like it, you'll get 27 more issues at this great TV price. If not, just write cancel on the bill and owe nothing. The four issues are yours to keep. Remember, you'll get the 50 greatest home runs video and four issues of the Sporting News absolutely free. So call this number now and get your free back-to-back -back home runs. Oh, that was great. Jerry, come on, sing one more. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. 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 That's a message. Say, look, uh, get in touch with Mars, eh? And Tell him to stop crying. Put on his TV show. Mm. Sing you a moon tune. Uh, Check up on this next one. Uh-oh. Uh, you need some time alone? 
Make it happen, baby. Hey. You smell like chicken fried punk. I think I found somebody. He grinds his hips under the breakfast table. I'll tell you all about it when I get in. Bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Recipes. Oh, no. mm -hmm. Boy, this is good. Oh, now, Pop, you asked us to push you. Besides, you just scratched the paint a little bit. Oh, the car? Oh, forget about that. Say, where did you learn how to sing like that? Sing, sing. Me? Oh. No, not you. I mean him. Call that singing? That was nothing. That was belching. Eddie learned itself to sing, didn't you, Eddie? Shut up, Iris. What are you selling? Well, I'm not selling. I'm buying. You see, I'm an artist representative. I so represent Jackson and Pollock, Pollock, Jasper Johnson. Well, I'm an agent. I handle the singers and performers for television. Can I have 10% of your sandwich? You want sandwich? Can you sing on the TV? Well, if you'd like to, I think it could be arranged. But uh, like a couple of people here who first. We ain't interested, right, Eddie? Yeah, I, I ain't no singer. I think you are. You are them, Pop. We ain't interested. Don't beat it. Cool it, Louis. We ain't talking to you. Look, mister, he gets paid and everything, don't he? Well, of course. How much? Well, well uh, tonight I'll pay $7.50 an hour. How much? Well, I'd say to start about $100. $100 for a great big star. Man, we make that in one little haul. Give me that. Well, that's only for peanuts, one. mister. Well, maybe it's peanuts to you, but that's only for one little show. You make, you've got what I think you have. You make it. Babies? Who knows? Ten, fifteen thousand dollars a week. Fifteen thousand dollars a week? Well, why not? Yeah. Gosh, I'm stupid. Why not? Say, anybody here call for a mechanic? Oh, hey, wait a minute. You said that great. I'd like to sign you up. Now, here's my card, son. If you get in town tomorrow, drop it and see me, and we'll see what we can do. The credit card. Buy yourself some furniture. I don't know. Well, just take your time, son, and think it over, and but let me know by tomorrow. Because I might and, die. Uh, thanks for the push. I think he was being sarcastic. Oh. Gee, you're going to see him, aren't you? I don't know. Eddie? You become a big, fat star, you ain't ever gonna forget your buddies always stuck by in our eye, Eddie. <laughs> now, of course not. Ooh, of course not. Meanwhile, at the same time, at the Gotham City Bank... Hi, I'm here for my prostate exam, and I brought some of my friends with me. I'm Eddie Crane. I called before. Oh, yes. Mr. Bayless is expecting you. I, uh, I'll tell him you're here. These smelly hoodlums are here. Eddie Crane is here, Mr. Bayless. Good, send him in. I'll slip out the back. You can go in, Mr. Crane. Okay. Hey, how about us? Well, there are some people inside. It, it might be better if you waited out here for him. How about that, Eddie? Would it be better? Mm. Hey, uh-uh. My friends go where I go. Now, where's the Please. bathroom? What's your name? Who's Helen. your daddy? Helen Tracy. That's my name, too. Hi, Helen. Hi, Eddie. Come on, honey. Down, boy. Down, boy. This is Mr. Marsh at the TV station. There's Josh Beam and Josh is going to play for you. Hey, this is the boy I told you about, Eddie Crane. Uh, how are you, Eddie? Okay. Oh, Looks like this scene was shot by a paint Josh? camera. Red. Mooney. I can sing, man. Hey, Mooney. <laughs> baby, baby. Oh, he's the you statue. Did you put coat. Eddie on the TV? Well, I don't know, miss. Uh, we came down to hear him sing. If he's anything like... Oh, uh... come on, Pop. Eddie can sing rings around any of them. He can sing better than any Shut of them. Shut up, Iris. Well, I just want to... you hear what I said? Well, he's nice to me, to me too. Do? Just sing. Anything you like. Josh here can play. Do you read music? Nope. Hey, do you know with a look? Eddie can sing that, right, honey? Yeah, I guess so. What am I doing here? I ain't no singer. Come on, honey. Do it for me, huh? Can I do it for her? Okay. I'll do it for you. Well, this is going out to one of you, whoever you are. Play. I am Iron Man. With a love, you can make me laugh. <laughs> be gone in a minute. All I know is I glow with a warm sensation. Sam, Sam, Sam your eyes. Oh, the one wow, he's singing to me for crying out loud. He likes me. With a love, I felt victim to your 
your charm. When I knock over a grocery All store, that fun, pistol whip or we were in each other's arms. Hey, she's got to sing the whole song, isn't he? I mean it. Just oh, my God. Look. And what more could I do? You could stop singing. I fell hopelessly in love with you. Yeah, I'm touched. I didn't know you felt that oh, way. Oh, so hopelessly in love with myself. Fantastic. Really fantastic. That was an adagio, wasn't it? That was great, honey. Well, Harry, you were right. It's a comfortable Very chair. Good. I don't know how he'll hold up on the show, but uh, I'll take a chance. Good. Well, the show's tomorrow night, so uh, we better get you checked into a hotel. Hmm. Take care of that, will you, Helen? All right. Wait a minute. What about my friends? Where are they going to stay? Well, uh, I didn't know you were coming to town. Hey, what about that? Well, either they stay with me or I go. Not just a minute, son. Don't give me that sun bit. Either they stay or I go. Oh, Hold my finger. All right, Eddie. Helen, put them all up at the hotel and uh, kill them. Eddie a new outfit for the show and well, anything else he may need. Right. But be sure he gets back to rehearsal tonight. Say I hate Mark. that guy. Who hates that guy? I do. I do, too. Yeah. Uh oh. It smells like a montage. All right, you're going to go into that AMP and you're going to tell the lady what you took. No, no, not if you want to be taken seriously. <laughs> what a moron. All right, I like it. I'll take 300 of these shirts. And I'm school shopping with Mom. Boy, you know, I think I need some drinks for Come school, on, too, Mom. She's a ventriloquist. And she's fantastic. Would you like heavy smoking or moderate smoking? Oh, great. Here comes a big tip. They'll have the club. She'll have the cottage cheese and the peach slice. Oh, I'm hungry. Shopping for men's clothes is a lot harder than I thought. Uh, what's pesto? Like, we, oh, you, oui, you mean you picked. I wouldn't have known what to get. Thanks, Helen. For making us laugh about love again. Well, what should we eat? Want to start with a cocktail? Yes, ma'am. I don't think so. I feel like I'm loaded already. <laughs> You're pretty excited, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I'm in the show tomorrow in the clothes in this place. I never thought I'd be doing this. But buying clothes? I can't even believe it's happening to me. Well, it is. And it's you, all right. And this is only the beginning. Jeez, I'm stupid. I forgot how stupid I was. Yeah, with me. I'd have done anything to deserve it. Not a high school diploma between them. I'm taking what I wanted because I knew nobody would ever give me anything. I'm sensitive. If you pushed around so long, you start pushing back. Mm -hmm. Harder and harder. You get to like it. Thanks for the character development. You feel like somebody. What, Eddie? What do you feel? I feel like... Like... An onion. <laughs> now forget it. No, no, please. Tell me. I feel I can't keep my hands off. Police, police! Why? I don't mean nothing like that. I mean like when I first saw you. I felt I'd been away somewhere for a long time. And I was coming home and you were waiting for me. I've never seen an objection molded like face before. Saying, Eddie. Eddie, where you been? Like I've known you forever. I wanted to hold you and tell you I'm never going to leave you again. That's how I felt. Well, are you two ready to order? Now have a good laugh. <laughs> Eddie, I'm not laughing. I'm panicking. You're not, are you? Well, I must be flipping. I never talked like that to anyone. No With kidding. My dog. I never no. formed a complete no. sentence before. I forgot who I am. You're my sad clown. Hi, I'm Kathy, and if you haven't seen me in Sister Act, The Fisher King, or Soap Dish, you can see me right here on London Underground, Mo. Hi, Mo. And if you haven't seen me in Sister Act, Fisher King, or Soap Dish, it's because I wasn't in them. <laughs> yes, it stars, stand up, and lots of cheap plugs on a whole new season of London Underground. Sunday night at 8, here at Comedy Central. I'm a morning person. I've been away 11 days, and tomorrow, gotta go to 
Dallas, Chicago, Detroit. What makes us all the same is that we're all different. And for all of us individuals, AT&T introduces the iPlan, the first personalized long distance for people with their own friends, their own lives, and their own priorities. I is for simple, like calling plans without complications. People who speak your language and 139 others. A credit card that also lets you call around the world. The AT&T Universal Card. I is for new ways to be there. I can see you. You can do things that used to be impossible from almost anywhere on Earth. Now imagine having your own iPhone. I is for individual. Only from AT&T. It's here, at last. A contact lens for people who thought they couldn't wear contacts. A contact lens that lets your eyes receive more of what they need most. Oxygen. Introducing Envision. Envision. Made of an advanced new material. It lets your eyes breathe easier, with less irritation and discomfort. Boston Envision. Ask your eye care professional about it. For more information, call 1-800-ENVISION. Success in life is the result of preparation and having the right tools. To become the person you've always wanted to be, select Nordic Flex Gold. You provide the effort, and Nordic Flex Gold provides the means to your personal success. You want to develop the poise, confidence, and energy that come from a strong, toned body. And just like these people, you can have that body in just 12 weeks with Nordic Flex Gold. Some people spend a lifetime wishing for a great body. Now with Nordic Flex Gold, you can unlock your potential in as little as 12 weeks. Nordic Flex Gold features linear motion and patented isokinetic resistance, providing results fast, up to 70% faster than with rubber band machines or even free weights. Now is the time to act. Great muscle tone, three times faster fat loss, increased energy, as well as poise and confidence can all be yours in just 12 weeks with Nordic Flex Gold. To order or for more information, call now. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the talent showcase continues as we present a young man who's making his first appearance as a singer tonight. We know you'll enjoy the talent Arthur show. Arthur Miller. Eddie Crane. Well, I said let's hear it for Eddie Crane. Eddie Crane. Eddie Crane, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, a summer play. Yeah. Yeah. Singing into a refrigerator. There's nothing I won't do. I'm so in love with you. Any oh, yes, yes. <laughs> your little heart desire. Well, I desire you to stop singing. Just say the word and I'll be on hand to make your dreams come true. Ah! Mm, maple syrup looks good. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, good one. Here's a singer for our generation. Just to prove to you that you're the only one I'm dreaming of, my darling. Good thing the shirt is from the waist up, huh? Your little heart desire. I just can't do enough. Wait a minute, that's the guy who robbed my store. To make your life come. Oh, he went to Jester B. If you should want the moon. You should seriously consider a soul transplant. And the sun from Boy, beatnik music is really square. I'll tear them from the blue. Just to prove. It kind of reminds me of a singing weatherman. You're the only one. <laughs> Of my darling, and he's ah! Ah! Oh, oh, oh. oh, he looks really bad. This oh. inside Daisy Clover. I just can't do enough, my sweet. This is one of Ginsburg's ballad years. Fantastic. That is fantastic. Next up, Geechee Guy. <laughs> 
Yes, it is. Nice work. Thanks very much. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Well, how's we're on the air? <laughs> Just on the stage Lord, manager. What are you doing? They want some trouble here. I'm out of beer. There was just a little misunderstanding. Eddie, Mr. Morris, you'd like to see us in his office for a moment. Can you come in there, nude, alone? Yeah, sure. You guys wait out here. I'll be right back. Come on. Oh, that's the problem with long necklaces. <laughs> well, here he is, Ray. You want a shot at him? Congratulations, Eddie. You have Very a lot big. of fun. Thank you, sir. Now, why don't you kids go over there and sit down and let a couple of old men talk business, huh? <laughs> so, how's the hernia? Well, Harry, as you know, I just have a local station here, but I'd be willing to talk contract and build a show around your boy if you're interested. Want well, some bread? That, Ray, but, uh, you know I don't want to tie Eddie up here. Now, you understand. Oh, that. I can't say I blame you. <laughs> Oh, I became a switchboard. Oh, I'm back again. Yes. Mr. Marcy, we're getting all kinds of calls about Eddie Crane. They think he's terrific. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you, Grace. Hear that, Eddie? Looks like you're on your way. Hmm. They're Hello. still calling. Yes, yes Mr. President. Oh, yes. Who? Yes. Well, put him on. It's Walter Letterman of Universal Records about Eddie. Hmm. This is the President. Hello? Yes? Yes, Mr. Mr. Letterman. Yes, he was sensational. Yeah, yeah. Go to the window. Our switchboard's been lit. What's that? Go to the window. No, he's not under contract to me. Forget the contract. What are you wearing? Oh, I see. Well, uh, his agent is right here. Oh, what's you better he talk wearing? To him. Talk to him, Harry. <clears throat> uh, hello, Mr. Letterman. This is Harry Bailey's. Yeah, just <laughs> like it's a wonderful oh, life. Sure Harry Bailey. Yeah, out. that's funny. Snookum. Well, that's a little quick, isn't it? Oh, yeah, sure. We could rehearse all day, yes. But we won't. I'm too old oh, no, for that. Oh, don't worry. We'll be there. Yeah, thank you very much. Boy, he's a tough negotiator. Mm -hmm. Kid, I got you a $100 lifetime deal. Come on, kid, break it up. Huh? Well, what do you think, Eddie? About what? What's the matter, Eddie? Weren't you listening? Uh-huh. Eddie, looks like you're an overnight sensation. Then it hasn't even been overnight. Night for immediate relief. No kidding, me? Yeah, do you know what that means? If uh, you hit... I'll need more socks? spot on every top show. And then when you're ready for it... The Eddie Crane Show. Then Eddie's oh, world. So quick. <laughs> well, that's the way it happens in this business. Sometimes it's faster, not at all. Yeah, I see what you mean. But don't kid yourself, sir. You're not that good. It's going to mean an awful lot of hard work. Now, I hope you're up to it. Mr. Bayless, all my life I've been kicked around for nothing. I ain't afraid of working to get someplace. Thanks, son. I know you won't let anybody down. No, sir. Oh, oh behind her! How long are we supposed to cool our heels out there, man? Moon, you hear the news? I'm going to make records. No kidding. Yeah, ain't I, Mr. Bailey? That's right. Yahoo! Yeah, that's crazy. Hey, this calls for a celebration. Come on, let's shake this town up tonight. Now, hold on here just a minute. Now, I know you're all happy about this, but Eddie's got to get some rest. He's recording tomorrow night, you know. What you talking about? My Eddie's a big star now. He don't have to worry about singing. He can do it with his eyes closed. Can't you, honey? Yeah, I feel fine. See, I think Mr. Bayless is right. There'll be plenty of time to celebrate later on. You could catch cold or something. Angelica Houston. Mother, I didn't... Iris. Maybe they're right. I, uh, I gotta protect my voice. Oh, pick up on that job. Well, maybe we just ain't good enough for you now. Is it that ain't that right? Maybe you got some nobody. Shut up, all of you! I ain't walking out on nobody. It's just... It's just that I love pancakes. Uh, I don't know. Come on, let's go back to the hotel. I'll see you tomorrow. Eddie. Yeah? Good luck. Yeah, thanks. Let's go, baby. Helen, Hayes, Shirley Brown, Keller, Wheels. That sofa's actually a seat of a pickup truck. Mm -hmm. When in Hollywood, be sure not to stay at the Hollywood Inn. Well, she's having an episode. Keep going now. Did you say this to radio? Set us up some ice. Set up some more clean soda. Some chuckles. Gas water. Gas water. Sit and Nancy. What do you mean, sure we're old enough? You want to see my driver's license? Why, you... Uh... What's the matter, man? Ah, that old duck downstairs cut us off. Yeah, kid. Oh, I know where we can get all the lush we want, man. Where? It's about two hours' drive from here. Oh, you Hudson, Wisconsin? The store? We can't stick him up. His two weeks ain't up yet. Better, <laughs> <laughs> huh? man. Why don't you join the party? Are you afraid you might be catching a cold, man? Hmm? Maybe you just want to be with that sweet little nothing you've been making eyes with, huh? Get off my back, Iris. I'm thinking. Dreaming is more like it. 
You're dreaming how you're going to be a big fat star and how well you and Helen are going to hit it off. Isn't that it, Big Shot, huh? Yeah, I'm big oh, bold, okay? Stop right. Maybe you just like to walk on out of here and you can forget you ever knew it. Isn't that it? Oh. Oh. I told you to leave me alone. Next oh, time man, I'll punch you. your message. Oh. I'm sorry. I guess I didn't get my stack. Uh, I'll get it. The geek, Nick. I'm an old... Yeah? Uh, I'm the hotel manager. What's going on in here? I've had complaints from every room in the house. What's the matter, Rayhead? Can we have a little fun? Oh, oh my goodness. What have you done to the room? But this is terrible. But you pay for this. My goodness, you pay for this. Is that how I sound, really? You? Why, you young hoodlums, I'll call the police. No magic fingers for you, young man. One word to anyone and I'm going to moon you. You're going to what? Moon you! No, hang my butt out. You can rely on on me. I I, I won't tell a soul. But who's going to pay for the damage here? Just put it on the bill, mister. I'll see it's taken care of. Oh, thank you, sir. Hey, you get on out of here before we change our mind. Yeah, well, you, you can uh, trust in my discretion. I yes. see it. Sure. He's the shakiest hotel manager in the world. <laughs> Boy, you can trust my discretion. <laughs> the next John Viner. Walt, if that chicken, he could grow feathers. <laughs> Toronto, Canada, 11 degrees. Please. What the hell kind of prize is this? It's the kind Karen Thompson got as winner of Comedy Central's Quality Time with the Kids contest. Karen and her sister Lori braved the brutal breezes to hang out in the studio with the kids in the hall. And just when things couldn't get any rubier... Here's $10,000. Yeah. There's 10 uh, notes in a key of G. Yeah. Say the line. Winners watch and watchers win at Comedy Central. Cool whip light. Cool whip light whip topping. The luscious taste of whipped cream with one half the fat and only eight calories per serving. Cool whip light. You can go. You can go. A free back to back home run offer from the Sporting News. Home run number one. A free home run video. The power. The glory. Major League Baseball and the Sporting News have created a new video, the 50 greatest home runs in baseball history. And it's absolutely free with your paid subscription. The Myth Makers, the Record Brickers, they're all here, and they're all yours when you subscribe to the Sporting News, but only if you call this number for this amazing TV offer. Home run number two, four free issues of the Sporting News. You'll get four free issues of great baseball, football, basketball, and hockey coverage. If you like it, you'll get 27 more issues at this great TV price. If not, just write cancel on the bill and owe nothing. The four issues are yours to keep. Remember, you'll get the 50 greatest home runs video and four issues of the Sporting News absolutely free. So call this number now and get your free back-to-back -back home runs. Spray and Wash has removed more food, grease, and grass than any other stain remover ever made. And that has made it the number one choice for getting out what America gets into. Hot town, summer Remember how much fun we had back in the 60s? Yeah, the radio was playing one cool song after another. Well, call now and get 23 great songs on Classic Rock 1969 for just $9.99 on cassette or CD. and other great classic rock albums. Hey, there's no minimum to buy. Satisfaction guaranteed. Here's how to order. To order, call 1-800-544-1717 or send $9.99 for one cassette or one CD plus $3.50 shipping and handling to the address on your screen. Phones open 24 hours. Comics Only is two comics. You're into cats, right? You think they're sweet and great. And plus, they're really good with some garlic. You fillet them right. <laughs> One couch. When a woman's depressed, she thinks, oh, I'm fat. Then when a guy's depressed, he thinks, damn, my girlfriend's fat. <laughs> what do you get when stand-ups sit down? I never know what to say at a funeral. I always walk up to the widow and go, 
oh, you know, in a couple years we're going to laugh. You know, I never 30 minutes of comedy disguised as a talk show. Watch the new season of Comics Only, weeknights at 8.30 here at Comedy Central. Tonight at Comedy Central, Richard Lewis hosts the A-List at 9. The Kids in the Hall are at 9.30. Then Rob Lowe hosts Saturday Night Live at 10. Stand Up, Stand Up with Wally Collins is at 11. Followed by the Triple Crown of Comedy. And at 12.30, watch London Underground. Oh, I'm so glad Joel isn't here. He'd just be ruining everything right now. Hey, are there any more corn curls, bro? Crow! Crow T. Travis. No, no. Mrs. Tony T. Travis. Nah, uh, uh, not too Italian. Mr. and Mrs. Tony and Crow Robot Travis. Nah, that's too long. I uh, wonder what Tony's thinking about right now. Oh, I don't know. He's probably driving around real fast in a super cool car and stuff like that. Couldn't you just scream? Ah! Oh, Tom, you are so childish. When you become a woman, you'll understand these things. The Tony I know is a very serious man. Compassionate and thoughtful to a fault. He goes to church every Sunday. I wonder what denomination. Oh, please, Crow, where'd you read that? I just happen to have the latest on Tony in this month's Tiger Bot. Tony, fun-loving loner. And it says... Tony lives with his parents in Burbank and loves to swap jokes with Jay Osmond, the comedian of the Osmond family. Sometimes you can find him riding around the five acres behind his house on his minibike or making funny faces in the mirror to crack himself up. I read in Dynamite that he likes gum. Turn around, Gypsy. Servo, you don't know nothing about him. Tony, and I know this for a fact, girlfriend, is producing and starring and writing and singing the theme song for a movie about his whole life story. Huh. And on weekends, he's trained to be a Navy SEAL. Oh, wow. Hey, you guys, I got all the rest of your stuff. I think you're all settled in for the evening now. Yes, Joe. You know what? You guys are really into this Tony Travis guy, of you know? Course. You know, when I was your age, that's when the teen idols had faces. Yeah, you know, there was David Soul ah. and the Brady Girls and <laughs> Jeremy <laughs> Gebwalks and Tony DeFranco and the DeFranco family. Don't forget Donnie Moe. Spare us. You know, Tony Travis. Now, wait a minute. Now that I think about it, I think we went to the same high school together. <gasps> what? And in fact, I think I've got his number right there on speed no, dial. No, it's marked uh, no, Tony T. You should oh call him. He's a real nice oh, guy. Go oh, ahead. Call, 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 call. Oh, 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 I can't do it. I can't do it. Oh, hold the chips. Should we? Can yes. we? Oh, yes. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Oh, Tony oh. T. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm gonna die. I can't do this. I need a shower. Oh, oh, oh. Swing, swing. Hello? Oh, Tony. This is Tony Travis. Oh. Sorry, I'm not in right now. Oh. I got called in to cover for Roy over at the Taco Hell. If everything goes right, the sour cream gun don't jam. Should be home around 9. Oh, no. If you'd like to leave a message for me, Gary, Rick, Jeff, Raul, Terry, oh. Prairie Dawn, or any of the kids, yeah. leave it at the sound of the tone. Well, oh. If you're a bill collector or you're with the military... Oh, sad. Oh, I can you believe it? it? Oh, it is better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. Tony. You know, I like that moon guy. Yeah. Moon. Yeah, moon. Yeah, moon. Yeah, moon. Yeah, moon. 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 Hey, it's Charlie's Cafe Beer. Oh. Hey, that's a handicap spot. Hey, it says Diane's dancing. You want to go in here? Well, let's go somewhere. I don't want to drive around all night. Especially because it's 2 in the afternoon. This is probably the best place in L.A. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. They serve drinks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Eat next roadie party of six, please. <laughs> hey, scooch over. Oh, bad touch. Call the meeting to order. Hey, hey, take it easy. Don't you see the people eating here? Oh, I'm awfully sorry, Charlie. We didn't know you were running a graveyard. Yeah, it says diamond dancing, so where do we dance, Charlie? Right here, and I ain't Charlie. I'm Gus. Well, where's Charlie? We want Charlie. Whoa, oh, bad touch. <laughs> well, I never hope. Let's go with our Charlie. Play yourself. Ooh. All right, all right. What do you have? 
How about a menu? I'm hungry. Uh, how would you like that done? Well, get with it, man. Open it. Do it, the lady, Charlie. Open it. Well, maybe I can fix some ham sandwiches. Okay? Yeah, all the way around. Good night, folks. Yeah, we'll be back real soon. Want to drink soon. coffee? How about some booze? Sorry, no liquor. No liquor. Please stay and open the door, Charlie. Name's Gus and no liquor after two. It ain't two yet, Charlie. Let's go get the sandwiches. We're hungry. I can't believe they're manhandling for a sandwich. Oh, they're probably hypoglycemic. Mm. Hmm? Here, honey. Hmm? Hey, my first hit record's out already. Uh, play me for me. <laughs> <laughs> Felix, where's the Eagle Snacks? Well stocked bar. They got four bottles. Mm -hmm. Eddie Crane, unplugged. He hit Big Jake. Hey, I was watching She's the Sheriff. You want to watch TV, go home. Ain't no living room. Why, you great, big, wonderful man. Wait, I know. You're a Libra, right? Penny for your thought. Oh, he's wearing a sports bra. Hey. Uh, <laughs> Pasta fondue. <laughs> well, he seemed nice. Mm -hmm. Open bar. Literally. <laughs> Here, Worcestershire. Nine fifty-seven for me. Hey, hey, where'd you get that? My aunt's house. Charlie, a copper a bartender. You're a pretty smart punk, aren't you? You took it off of my bar. I don't see your name on it, Charlie. Yeah, my well, name's Jack Daniels, all right? Punk, and if you don't put that bottle back where you got it from, I'm going to give it to you. And I'll add a gratuity. Hey, look, I'm scared. I got him surrounded. <laughs> okay, that's it. Go on, get out of here. All of you, blow. Put your lips together and blow. Oh, you hear me? Okay, you for it. Oh, you asked for it. I'm overcooking your fries. Is that today's liturgy on the board over there? Now just sit there. You too. I warned you. Hello, give me the sheriff's office. Now you punks will get it. Hey. Oh, Charlie. Today's temperature is 85 that, degrees. Charlie. He's an evil Gilligan. Mm, he's going oh, out of his way to be loathsome. Mm, come on, will you? <laughs> we, we were just having a little fun, Charlie. Was a good Let me talk to Sergeant oh, Gilligan. Come on, on us, Charlie. Will you give us a break? We'll put the fun back and we'll pay for what we drank. Well, you put it back and then we'll see. Hello, Mike. <laughs> yeah, Gus. Hey! <laughs> No, uh, never mind, Mike. Listen, I'll, I'll call you back. Peter Breck, ladies and gentlemen. Peter Breck. Mm. What an eccentric performance. <laughs> that was our best wine. Oh, good year. Mm. I have to get the dog people look out. Now well, we're going to make our own sandwiches. What'd you have to hit him for? What'd you want me to do? Kiss him, big Ed? Ah, uh, you. You're the second person who's called me you. Is he dead? No, I just said a little. Come on. Someone's coming. Sick of love. Quick, you work the fryer. You host us. Hand out those menus. I think we're here, Michael. All right, Douglas. Iris, come with me and play it cool. Yeah. Come on, baby. Honey. Hey, you. I'm come not on, you. Get in the car, Iris. Um, uh, may I take your order, sir? <laughs> what do you want? What's going on inside? Must marry ketchup bottles. What do you mean? Oh, you know what I mean, fella. Any action? Any woman? Chicks? Frauds? <laughs> oh, no, man. The joint's dead. There's nobody there. They're closing up. Hey, you, uh, scored, huh? Yeah, I got two assists. Yeah, I scored. Okay, boy. Take it easy now. I thought at least somebody scored. I can go home to bed now. Order up. Eddie, I'm here. 
Callahan. I don't care who hit who first. Come on. Now, suddenly it's a last picture show. I guess happy hour is over, huh? Uh, are you hiring? It's a newborn doll. Implications Playhouse. Come on, Mo, let's go. What's going on? Clean it up. Come on. Oh, that's considerate. Oh. Come on, Mooney, get in the car. We ain't got forever. I call the back. When Alan King talks with the great comedians, you get a view of comedy from the inside out. Some of my best ad libs have taken six, seven hours. You come out now, you get a standing ovation. Well, the audience is surprised that I can walk. Burns, Klein, Arnold, Reiner, they know from funny. Alan gets them talking. Directing an actress to do an orgasm in front of your mother is something that I highly recommend to everyone. Watch Alan King inside the Comedy Mind, Sunday at 11.30 here at Comedy Central. The forecast calls for a red-hot spring with red-hot deals on red-hot new Hondas, along with great financing like no money down, free service inspections and appraisals, free ride red Honda hats, and, as you can see, lots of free demo rides and a whole lot more. Come see the hot new Hondas, but hurry, Honda's red-hot deal days end April 30th. After that, you'll be left out in the cold. You are here. She has the traveler's checks here. That is a problem. Well, was. American Express traveler's checks for two. The only checks either of you can use. Don't leave home without them. expect her to sweat if she's running a marathon, but not when we're close to each other. You just can't get close to a guy if you smell. Get a little closer with Arid, the anti-odor antiperspirant that helps keep you extra, extra dry. I trust Arid. Please, Eddie, get some help for me. I don't want to die. You can try, baby <laughs> punk. Are you afraid to die, man? <laughs> Shut up! You've got to Wipe out! out. I like out of you. You went back to kill that fox for no reason, didn't you? You went back to kill him, didn't you? Yeah. What? Why'd you have to do it? Why? Well, I, I thought it was for you, Eddie. For me. And I didn't kill yeah. you anybody. Why for me? I didn't care none about myself. When I went back into that bar, that, that fat barkeep, Charlie, he said... What are you talking about? He said he's going to remember what we all look like and spill with the cops. You're lying. No, I'm not. Uh, you're exaggerating. I was thinking, Eddie, about you, about you going on television and how he might see you and how he might recognize you, Eddie. Send you up for life. Might even burn you, man. Burn me? Nobody's gonna burn me. I ain't ever killed nobody. Sure, I wanted to. You're in it just as much as I am. We're all in it. Together. You know that, don't you? Don't you? Huh? You're different. Yeah. <laughs> Take it easy. Sort of a gender-bending Camille. Hmm? He looks like a big ventriloquist mm. dummy. Is that her dad? It throbs a little. Like my heart when I look into the pitiless void. It's howl, it's man, sad. howl. How's it look? Uh, have you ever had Yeti-O's? Uh, I was skipping that bottle. I'll go boil some towels. Mm -mm. This might sting, Red. Are you ready? ready? 
Oh, the famous red yeah. button death scene. Just in case you want to yell. Give him a beer back. He's out. Maybe that's good. What do you think, Eddie? Will he be all right? Well, I'm just a nurse's aide. Uh, but you can thank Gunhappy over here. We're in real trouble now. Thank, thank you, Gunhappy. Gun Gun I took care of that. Did you? What about the guy that was sitting at the bar? He got a real good look at all of us. What? You're always ruining my fun. Man, he can't prove nothing he didn't see. Oh, I see. What about Red here? How are you going to explain the hole in them? Say a vampire bit him? Oh, uh, that won't hold up in court. Helen was right. How'd I ever get mixed up with a crazy bunch like you? We answered I your ass. I must be nuts myself. What? How did you get mixed up with us? You hear that, Moni? How did you... Hmm. Just who do you think you are, a big shot? Yeah. He's wearing his truss on the outside. Someone twist your arm. Oh, he's got his holster on. He knows he's going to the big valley. Well, it don't wash off, Big Eddie. You're one of us. You've always been one of us, and you are going to stay one of us. Are you hip? Huh? Nice yeah. to have job security. Eddie, she's giving you a lot of crazy ideas. She's getting you all mixed up. She'll never do for you like I will. Ew. Hey, where are you going? Out. Oh, I got a lot of thinking to do. Hey, he's following a makeover in Glamour. Bye, Queen. There are a million stupid stories in the Naked City, and this is the stupidest one. Everybody's talking at me. Seven five three zero oh, nine. Hudson three two seven hundred. General Bouchard. Hey, now we can't hear. Wait a minute, she's sleeping in a drawer. Joe's pool. Oh. <clears throat> Joe's pool. Hello, Helen. Hi, this is Eddie Crane. Eddie. Uh, you know, I sit What's behind you in Fayette. I just wanted to I'm glad you called, but it's so... I don't know why I called you. Well, I'm glad you did. Eddie, is something wrong? What is it? Uh, I got the kind show, of a tummy ache. I ain't worried about my career or shows or nothing. Because I ain't going to do no shows. What are you saying? I, I went out. Do no show. I ain't your boy. You made a mistake. Can't sing or nothing. Why, you have a wonderful talent. Please I don't throw sing. it away now. I threw it away a long time ago. Eddie, please, if I've done anything to change you... Is that it? Can't you get it through your head? It has nothing to do with you. It's me. Me, I'm no good. I'm just no good. Stop trying to codepend all over me, Eddie. From you, from me. What's wrong? Tell Mr. Bayless thanks for believing in me. Now I gotta hang up. Eddie, are you there? Eddie, answer me. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, uh, sorry, my ear stopped Eddie, working. That's better. You asked me this afternoon if I felt what you did. I love you, Eddie. Hmm? I don't know how or why it's all so quick, but I do. I love you. Oh, we bought a shirt together. It's Big deal. Crazy. It mixed up. I think I'm still asleep, but I know what I'm saying. <laughs> I love you. You can't just go away and disappear like that with a telephone call. I've got no choice. I've got to get away. But why now? Why right this minute when your whole life is opening up for you? A, a once-in-a-lifetime chance of success. Why like people would give anything for a chance like you're getting. What's in it for you? A oh, 10% percent commission. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're making a big pitch. What's in it for your end? A lot of quick cash, maybe, if Eddie hits the big time. Is that it? You think I told you I loved you because I want to keep you here for business reasons, to, to make money off what of you? What is this, 1-900-TALK-FAST? Well, for your information, there have been hundreds of new talents I've been around. Do you think I told them all I love them just to keep them signed to a contract? Old American. I never told anyone anything like that before. Does she have coffee filters on her I head? I never loved anyone though? until mm-hmm. I met you. Mm-hmm. Now I'm sorry I told you. Helen, you don't understand. I understand. It's all over before it got started. Thanks for telling me. I made a real fool of myself. Helen, wait, please. Goodbye. Soup pie? Helen. Yeah. Hmm? Hmm. I'm coming over. Go over there. Tell her a thing or two. Wait a minute. Where does she live? I've been walking these 
street so long. I was walking in Memphis. Kolchak, the Night Stalker. 8.45. I was outside Frank Cannon's house. He didn't know I was there. She lives in a library? I'd like to check out a girl, please. Jess Ross, you Yeah. You took a number out of the phone book. Figured you'd show up here. All set to spill your guts out to mom upstairs. All about how the big bad boys made you do things and how you didn't want to do those things. Oh, Scientology. Number three, step forward and yeah, turn left. He didn't want to. You're flipped. Why don't you lay off the moon? Eddie wouldn't do that, would hey, you? Hey, he got a line. What do you think cool. I am? Of course not. What do you think I am, Eddie? A crappy actor? You got him wrong. Eddie wouldn't run out now, especially with Red so bad off. How is he? He's not good, Eddie. He's real hot and moaning and talking funny. Hey, what are we going to do with oh, him? Oh, he's in love. Oh. What are you asking me for? Because you're the leader of the gang, Eddie. The leader of the gang. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you, Eddie. And would you straighten your spine? Please. Eddie, what are we going to do with him? I don't know. We can't leave him like that. He may croak. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. That's no great. problem. Shut up, Moon. Got to try to get him to a hospital right away. General Hospital. Oh, we walk mm -hmm. over to the hospital up to the desk and we say, we'd like to make a deposit in the gunshot wound department. Oh, that's real smart, I remember. Well, can't we just drive him over and leave him there? And have them ask him how he got shot. He'd drag us all into it. Red wouldn't talk, would he, Eddie? Uh, Moon's got a point. We can't go out with him in daylight. He has sensitive skin. Okay, we'll wait till tonight. Then we'll get out of here and take him to a dock in a small town somewhere. How about a dock on the bay? Kadoom. I only hope he holds out till then. Hey, he's wearing a steady Eddie, you, guys. you really quits with them? I mean, Helen and Bayless? Yeah, I'm quits. I'm glad, honey. You know, she wasn't for you anyway. She ain't our kind. She's smart and pretty. No, she ain't. She's a mammal. Kind of sore you ain't going to be a big singer, though. Hmm. I was kind of looking forward to getting all dolled up and... Ew! Oh, God. God. Oh, God. Everybody oh, looking at us. Comics Only is two comics. You're into cats, right? You think they're sweet and great. And plus, they're really good with some garlic. You fillet them right. <laughs> One count. When a woman's depressed, she thinks... Oh, I'm fat. Then when a guy's depressed, he thinks, Damn, my girlfriend's fat. <laughs> what do you get when stand-ups sit down? I never know what to say at a funeral. I always walk up to the widow and go, Oh, you know, in a couple years, we're going to laugh. You know, I never... 30 minutes of comedy disguised as a talk show. Watch the new season of Comics Only, weeknights at 8.30, here at Comedy Central. No little cinnamon gum freshens breath longer than Big Red. Don't kiss a little longer. Hug a little longer. Stay close a little longer. Longer with Big Red. That Big Red freshness lasts right through it. Your fresh breath goes on and on. While you chew it, say goodbye a little longer. Make it last a little longer. Give your breath more lasting freshness. victories or you'll never do better this stuff is not the old way it gives me soft manageable hair without a lot of fuss hurt plus great hair no fuss Coors cut a non-alcoholic brew tastes so much like beer it'll fool the mouth for the taste of beer let the cut of flow your body knows the difference but the mouth don't know all day Coors cut your body know the difference, but your mouth don't know all taste. Mm. Cause cutter. Your body know the difference. Cutter tastes like beer, cause it's brewed like beer. But your mouth <laughs> don't know. I wish my son could live a full, healthy life where he felt rewarded and was always learning. Encyclopedia Britannica presents a parent's wish list. I think it's every parent's dream maybe to have a doctor in the family. Every parent has a wish list for their child, and with the help of the new Encyclopedia Britannica, many of those wishes can come true. Encyclopedia Britannica is the finest home learning program in the world. 
a 32-volume family reference library that will give your child an important advantage all through the school years. I think what I want is the best education she can get. To get more information on the new Encyclopedia Britannica, call for this free color booklet now. And just for previewing Encyclopedia Britannica in your home, you'll get this handsome three-volume desk reference set as a free gift. Our wishes are that he just lives up to the potential that he has. For your free Encyclopedia Britannica information booklet, call now. 1-800-862-5800. Toronto, Canada, 11 degrees. Please. What the hell kind of prize is this? It's the kind Karen Thompson got as winner of Comedy Central's Quality Time with the Kids contest. Karen and her sister Lori braved the brutal breezes to hang out in the studio with the kids in the hall. And just when things couldn't get any... Rubier. Here's $10,000. There's yeah. 10 uh, notes in the key of G. Yeah. Say the line. Winners watch and watchers win at Comedy Central. Tonight at Comedy Central, Richard Lewis hosts the A-List at 9. The Kids in the Hall are at 9.30. Then Rob Lowe hosts Saturday Night Live at 10. Stand Up, Stand Up with Wally Collins is at 11. Followed by the Triple Crown of Comedy. And at 12.30, watch London Underground. In the morning, papers ought to be on. So what? You ought to be full about that fat slob I knocked over last night. Oh, Mrs. Calabash, so sick. I bet you wish they knew you did it so you could get your picture in the paper. Yeah. <laughs> How did you My that? name and my picture in the paper. Everybody would look at me and say, Little Abner. That's Bob Mooney, the big shot. I'd be a celebrity. Why do I bother to talk to you? You know something? You're nuts. Oh, I'm just whimsical. Why do you want to be a singer, Eddie? Why? Did you just eat your candy bar? Because everybody can look at you and say, that's Eddie Crane, the big celebrity. <laughs> I'm the same way, Eddie. If I don't know how to sing. Bitter. Oh, a tad. Does that make sense, man? Yeah. To you. Fantasy, Graham. Put that thing away. Why, man, we might have to blast our way out of here. Nobody knows anything about us. Put it away. I was going to go and find out. We're who's. shooting the dishes. What's going on in there? See, I told you the cops. Let's blast them and make Shut it up. up. It's only the house stick. Let me handle it. Oh, how accommodating. Oh, well, we're not jumping on the beds. Yeah, what do you want? I have a man here with me. No, 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 no. Open up. What should we do? Yeah. Open up. Open up. Open up. Open up. Open up. Open up. Open Okay. Mystery guest, enter and sign in, please. Who well, you see? You see what they have done? What's this about the bill? We ain't checked out yet. And besides, Mr. Bayless is taking care of it. That's just it. Mr. Bayless called and said that he won't be responsible after this morning. That's it, see, well, we see? the state the night. We'll pay you for the extra day. We don't want you. That's right. You're an undesirable tenant. Sure. You have to get out. Besides, there's a matter of the damage you've done to the room. Well, you're going to pay for that, too. <laughs> Pretty smooth, huh? So why don't you let us stay till the night? I promise we'll pay for everything we broke. Oh, what do you do? Bring protection with you this time, Chicky? Huh? Don't get wise, son. Uh, What's the matter with him? A bad cold. He's fat, though. You real cop and you just chicken inspector. You don't, don't like stop cops, do you, doing that. No, I don't. Not real cops or play cops like you, man. No, no. shut up. Go and take a walk and get them cold pills spread like I asked you. Go on. You hear me? Ah, again. Oh, they got to hire a continuity director. That boy's going to get in trouble someday. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, Williams and Reed. Stay if Mr. Bayless tells you it's okay. Why, if Mr. Bayless says it's all right, then that's good enough for us. All right, let me make a phone call. Gee, if uh, Mr. Bayless says I can kick you in the groin, can I? Operator, get me Majestic 2202, please. I'm sorry about that mess. We had a little... Huh? Hello? Oh. Hello? Oh. Helen? Hello. This is Eddie. Oh. Hello. Is Mr. Bayless there? Oh. Can I talk to him, please? Hello? Hello, Mr. Bayless. This is Eddie. Oh. I'm sorry about you. Well, I think you've thrown away the chance for a lifetime, Eddie. I had some big plans for you. Hello? I know, Mr. Bayless. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Is it too late to change my mind? Oh, oh. you mean you could do that recording day tonight? Yes, sir. I realize. Like you said, this is my big chance, and I'd like another crack at it. Oh, I know. I haven't had a chance to call and cancel the date yet, so everything will be all right. What's the matter, son? Did you scared? Yes, sir. I got scared. That's it. I wet uh, him, look, sir. Look, Mr. Bayless. The hotel manager's here. Can you tell him it's okay for us to stay? Why, sure. Oh, but listen, Eddie. You get over to Universe Recorders there at Island Hollywood. Yeah, now get there yep. as soon as possible yep. so you can start rehearsing the recording yep. day tonight. Recording, yeah. Now I'll meet you yep. there. Yes, sir. I'll be there in about an hour. Good. Now put the manager on. 
It's my dad. Says we can stay. <laughs> oh. Yes, Mr. Bailey? Hello? Just charge everything to me and... Oh, yeah, give them anything they want. Oh, yes, I understand. Mm -hmm. In the groin. Right. Well, thank you very much. Goodbye. Well, I guess everything's <laughs> all right. <laughs> Ew. Uh, would you please try to keep your friends under control? I will. Thank you, sir. Well, I guess killing's okay when it's sanctioned by an agent. Yeah. Huh. You're going to be a big star after all, huh? Oh, yeah, I decided to be a star. I got to get dressed. I'm going over to Universal Recorders. You want me to go with you? Heck no. I I mean, oh. I'll let you down myself. No, better? Uh, That's it. Why don't you stay here and straighten up? When in Hollywood, visit Universal Recorders. Hi. Are you all right? Yeah. Is this your first record? My first anything. I never even sung for the TV show last night. Professional, I mean. No kidding. Well, you'll be all right. You're moving mighty fast. This is the hottest label in town. If your mm -hmm. record clicks, you'll be on top in no time. Yeah, I sure hope so. Do you, uh, you read music? Afraid not. No? Well, that's all right. None of the new artists do. That's what we have this full dress rehearsal for, so you can get used to it. Want to run through it a couple of times? It would help. All right, if you'll, uh, put the dress over there and use that mic while we'll get going here. Uh, okay, boys, let's do the song so Eddie can get the feel of it. I was like you last week. I was the big star. Now I do this. Charles Whitman. Hi, Eddie. Ah, oh, cut, cut, cut. Get her out of there. <sighs> Let me explain about it. Not now. It's Not all right. Now? You're here. Would you like some coffee? Yeah. Cream? Black. Where's Mr. Bayless? He's over there. I'll get you coffee. Hurry back. Uh, if you two are dotted there, we'd like Eddie, to cut a record. Can, uh, take it easy for a few minutes. We've got to check some levels here. It's uh, snowing backstage, Eddie. <laughs> Glad you're back, Eddie. Thanks, Mr. Bayless. That was terrific. I sure appreciate it. Oh, forget all about that. But I hope you're not going to change your mind again, though, are you? No. Eddie, I want to talk to you. Have you seen this rash, Eddie? Now, Helen seemed to think that you're in some sort of trouble. Are you pregnant, you Eddie? Now, what is it, son? Why don't you tell me? I can't. I can't understand what you do with a wild bunch of punks like that, and that's all they are, you know. I know it. Well, then why don't you break away from them? Come to leave you alone. I can't. Don't you understand? I can't. You mean you don't want to? Of course I want to, but I can't. They won't let me. You know, I've known you for well over an hour, Eddie, and I think you're wonderful. That is, I... I forget they really have a hold on you, haven't they? They really have a hold on you. Here's your coffee. Oh, oh thanks. Oh, it's scalding my hand. Hurry. Uh, yep. Uh. Here's to us. Uh, to us? Staying in the spare room, I forgot mm -hmm. to mention it. It's okay. Oh, it's the bullion hey, with cream. Oh, Are you ready to try one? Yeah, I guess so. Excuse me, I got to go sing my number one hit single. We'll hear this in the booth. I'll hear this in my nightmare. I'll wait till it comes out in stores. What's the mathematician doing conducting? Beat the music. Well, there's a thief with a thing and a deal. You'd better be careful or you may be next to strike. Bang! When you never expected to. Yes, love is a thief that will steal the heart of you. And we're sorry we popped that fat barkeep. Love wears a mask, a tight leather mask. Beware of that innocent look in its eyes. It hits, bang! And there's nothing that you can do. When you're backed up by George Fitz, love wow. is a thief that you've got to surrender to. Something special, yeah, but I hope I didn't bite off more than I can chew. You bit him too? What do you mean? You know, you were right. That kid's in a heap of trouble. What kind? Well, I don't know, but it's got something to do with that gang he runs around with. He's pals with that Meyer Lamsky character. How? I don't know. Talk to them, explain to them something. Find out what it is, Harry. They could dress like beatniks and go undercover. Hmm. I don't know. Please. For me? Are they going to kiss? If they're going to kiss, I'll throw uh, up on top. Hey. Yuck. Mushy stuff. Really she looks like Donald guy, Sutherland in drag. Oh? Crazy. No. <laughs> <laughs> 
leather coat. Dum ba dum dum da dum dum. Duck tail hair. Wait a minute, wait a minute, kid. Sing that again. What you mean? Leather coat. Dum ba dum da da. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. The other part. Oh, duck tail hair. That's it, kid. I'm gonna make you a star. Really? Wow. Yep. <laughs> Gee, I don't know about this, Colonel Robinson. I'm just a simple bass ackwards country boy who loves his mama. But what's so great about being a star, anywho? <laughs> Say, my own plasty face bug lady. <laughs> Come here, baby. I'll show you the meaning of love. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. A leather coat, dum ba dum dum da dum dum. A duck tail hair, dum ba dum dum ba dum. I think that's the cut, Jimmy. Let's go ahead. <laughs> Thank you, Tepper Gigio. And now for the newest singing sensation, Tom Sorrell. Thank you very much. A leather coat. Dum ba dum. Okay. What's my motivation? Uh, Daddy, I'll take twenty-five. Okay. <clears throat> Want some? Um. Uh, uh, uh. What? Oh, cut, Jeez. cut, sorry, cut. Sorry, sorry. This servo guy's useless. This is the last time we hire a leading man with inoperable arms. Stop, servo. You're fired. Give what? me that Contino kid. Leather bar, <laughs> slingshot <laughs> briefs. <laughs> Say, I know you. Don't you remember me? Why are you leaving me hanging like this? I'm Tom Servo! I'm Tom Servo! <laughs> I never knew him. <laughs> Tom Servo. Everything he touched, he destroyed. We'll be right back. Kathy, and if you haven't seen me in Sister Act, The Fisher King, or Soap Dish, you can see me right here on London Underground, Mo. Hi, Mo. And if you haven't seen me in Sister Act, Fisher King, or Soap Dish, it's because I wasn't in them. <laughs> yes, it's stars, stand-up, and lots of cheap plugs on a whole new season of London Underground, Sunday night at 8, here at Comedy Central. You know those credit card commercials where they tell you to jaunt off to someplace with crystal clear water and really strange fruit and don't bother packing because you can charge everything once you get there? This isn't one of them, okay? Any decent credit card can do that. We're taking our MasterCard to the supermarket. How's that for exotic? Well, now that you mention it, I guess it is kind of exotic. I mean, you've got a MasterCard, they've got the fruit, right? What's a kumquat? Whatever it is, they're five or a quarter. You want crystal clear water? They have aisles of it. And now, no card is more accepted on the planet, including supermarkets. So you don't have to worry about exact change or losing your receipt or whether you even remember to record how much your check was for in the first place. It's just another smart way you can use your MasterCard. Only when you get your statement, you don't have a conniption. You just have a record of your grocery spending for the month. And a couple kumquats. MasterCard. It's more than a credit card. It's smart money. Here, at last, a contact lens for people who thought they couldn't wear contacts. A contact lens that lets your eyes receive more of what they need most. Oxygen. Introducing Envision. Envision. Made of an advanced new material, it lets your eyes breathe easier, with less irritation and discomfort. Box in Envision. Ask your eye care professional about it. For more information, call 1-800-ENVISION. Guitar Rock is back. Introducing sounds of the 70s from Time Life Music. The hottest collection of 70s classic rockers ever. Call now for our special introductory offer. Save 40% and get guitar power for just $9.99 on cassette or CD.
It's guitar power, and it's all yours when you call this number. So get rocking. To order sounds of the 70s, call 1-800-248-3100 or send $9.99 for one cassette or one compact disc, plus $3.50 shipping to the address on your screen. Comics Only is two comics, one count. What do you get when stand-ups sit down? 30 minutes of comedy disguised as a talk show. Watch the new season of Comics Only weeknights at 8.30 here at Comedy Central. About You're it. okay. You went through a lot today. Do you think our is story is better than theirs? We're standing in sure. his way. Is that it? Well, I don't know, but I know he's involved with you in some sort of trouble, isn't he? Uh, he snagged on me. He didn't tell me anything. But look, I know you're in some sort of a jam. Now, why don't you tell me? Maybe I can help you. <laughs> why should you help us? Well, if everything goes all right with Eddie, uh, uh -huh. we'll be together a long time. Okay. I'd just like yeah. to know all about see that. him and you. And... Uh, why don't you ask uh, Eddie? Well, he won't tell me anything. That's our boy, Eddie. He wouldn't squeal on us. Tonight on Crossfire. What did he tell you? Nothing I said. Nothing I said. You're lying. You're big, fat teeth. Hey, take it easy. You think you can get your boy off the hook by turning us in, isn't it? Shut up. He don't know yeah. nothing. That is, isn't it? Down. Some of us have to rob a store in the morning. You probably got this place loud. Cut. I was right. Down there. Filthy with buzz. Get out of here. Quick. Uh oh. Come on! I'm a pixie. No place, mister. You invited yourself up here and you are going to stay. Honestly, son, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Let him go, Mooney. He ain't gonna talk. No, he ain't gonna talk. He ain't gonna get a chance to talk. Get back! Get back! Cody, stop it! You're gonna get us all burned, Mooney! What's the difference? You kill one, two, or a hundred? Uh, 98. Buddy, Eddie, too. I've always wanted to get in. Johnny Longcrotch. <laughs> you're the guy who's gonna make Eddie a big celebrity, ain't you? Like me, a big celebrity. Did you read the morning papers this morning, Daddy, huh? Uh, just Did Kathy. You? I'm in the morning papers, me. Then read the super I quiz, man. Fuck you. They don't know I done it. But well, I'm gonna tell them I, I done it. I didn't recognize your work. You, you, you don't know what you're doing. I killed that fat barkeep. Huh? <laughs> Boy, isn't that interesting? He took 10% out of the agent. <laughs> hey! You're crazy, Mooney! You're crazy! 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 What about a continent of breakfast? Hey, what's going on in there? Uh oh. What do we do? I'll take care of him. Come and get us, bud. Uh, uh, technically, it would just now be considered a killing screen. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. no, 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 Stop the overacting. Open up. No, take that and visit that. He's going with you. Uh -oh, I ain't going with you. Oh, no. They shoot horse faces, don't they? I hope so. He's going through puberty all of a sudden. Now, uh, this is the scene that got him the part in the big valley. Right there. Huh? East side, west side. Stop him, he's got a drum set. Oh, he's falling into a board meeting. Mannix. Sherman. Oh, well. You better stay here, sister. You're not going anywhere. Not looking like that. Me, George Jetson. <laughs> hey, Mooney, you got a The message, jerk. <laughs> Printed word is dead. Okay, that's it, fellas. Till tonight. It ain't working. I'm sorry. Good going, Eddie. Went very nice. Thank you. you won't forget about seven o'clock tonight. I'll be here. Okay, we'll see you then. My house. Bring a casserole. No, to me, fire Eddie. Well, how do you feel? I'll make it. Come here. Uh, that's far enough. I want to talk to you about that phone call last night. I didn't mean it. I know you didn't. Neither did I. About goodbye, I mean. Well, uh, I didn't mean it first. About how I feel. I know. I wish I could tell you about myself, but I... What are you afraid of? 
escalated. That you won't love me? Honestly, darling, I love you and nothing will change it. Don't say I didn't warn you. Hello, Hello dear. When's Mr. Bayless getting back? He'll be here for the session, won't he? Of course. Helen Tracy, telephone. You can take it out there. Helen Tracy, oh, telephone. Brought to you by Kennel Ration. Hello. Oh, God. Yes, it's she. I'm dying. What? What happened? The Jetsons. Oh, no. You just signed the Hudson oh, no. Brothers. Yes, of course. I'll be right over. Harry. What about Harry? What happened? He's badly hurt. Oh, no. Accident? No, I, I sent him over to your hotel to talk to... To talk to who? Mooney and the others? There was a fight or something. Mooney stabbed him. Oh, no, that crazy... Mixed up. Ed, wonderful oh. hoodlum. Ed, please. I'll get him for this. I've got to get to the hospital. I'm going with you. There's some things I've got to tell you on the way. Things you ought to know. Come I have a hiatus hernia. Uh, i got a really bad hip point, huh? Twist and rotate it, cub. Ride a taxi in L.A. This has got to be a movie. Oh, spare us not one moment of their trip to the hospital. Well, I want to see my manager, but first got to get a rack of ribs. You kids go ahead. Cab rides on me. Okay, Myrtle, let's go back and change the bedpans. Oh, you know, that heart attack patient is buzzing again. Danny Aiello. Uh, oh, bet I'm going to bury him. Oh, oh, yeah. Hey, let's put his hand in warm water. <laughs> what is it? Oh, Harry, I'm so sorry. Shot in the face, huh? Oh, all right, huh? Mr. Bayless? You do have a big I face. I want to see how sorry I am. That crazy... Right. I'm okay. Your relatives? No, I, I work for Mr. Bayless. Oh. And my friends have stabbed him. I'm Lieutenant Mann. We got most of the gang, but the guy who cut up Mr. Bayless got away. We'll hey, you're Paul Free. Hmm. I hope so. The ones we have in custody won't talk, but the hotel manager gave us a description of the other two. Two? There's Mooney and Eddie Crane. Mr. Bayless, you can talk now. I wonder if you could help us find them. Well, they did say something about the La Brea tar no. pits. I couldn't tell you where they... Yes, you wouldn't. Accessory after the fact, Peter will return after this. This program is brought to you by the heartbeat of America, Chevrolet. The quotes are in on the all-new Geo Prism. A look that easily surpasses Honda's best efforts to date. A handsomely styled, roomy, refined sedan. A best buy. But the most impressive quote of all may be the one you get from your Chevrolet Geo dealer. Eat your lunch, Excellency. It's good for you. Teacher, why must everything that's so good for me taste so bad? If Hector Boyardee had never been seven years old, perhaps he would not have become Chef Boyardee, dedicating his life to making hot, wholesome foods that taste the way kids like. One day, children everywhere will thank me. You are here. He has the traveler's checks here. Ah, that's no good. But this is American Express traveler's checks for two, the only checks either of you can use. Don't leave home without them. This leading cleaner won't get out both tough stains and germs. Clorox Cleanup Cleaner with Bleach wipes out stains, dirt, and germs. Now, Barney, that lovable purple dinosaur, is available on home video. It's a collection your preschooler will love. Offered only from Time Life Video. Call this toll-free number now so your children can have their first Barney video. Caring means sharing for $9.99.
Then every other month or so, your child will receive other fun Barney videos, like playing it safe and be a friend. And if you order with your credit card, you'll receive a free Barney and Concert audio tape featuring your child's favorite Barney songs. I love you, you love me. We're I love you, Barney. Family. Here's how to order. To receive the Barney and Friends Caring Mean Sharing video for $9.99, call this toll-free number. Use your credit card and receive a free Barney audio cassette. Call now. And it hurts to say that because I've never hit my mother. I tried to hit my mother once and she looked at me and said, if you ever hit me, that'd be the last thing you ever do. And I knew she was dead serious just by the way she cocked that gun to my head. See the comics who make the A-list next here at Comedy Central. Meanwhile, at the same time... You and me? Then pegboard. But I know about it now, and it hasn't changed the way I feel. And you know how Mr. Bayless feels about you. I know. The cops are looking for me. You and Mr. Bayless lying to protect me. I'm not going to mess up your life, Helen. And I'm not going to run anymore. Eddie, please. It's no use. Mess up my life? Understand. I finally found something to live for. Everything I want is right here. In Dianetta. And I can't have it this way. Oh, Eddie. You understand what I have to do? Yes. Oh, my shoulder! Let's create this scene from Videodrome. Now, go make that phone call. Tell them they can find Eddie Crane here. Ooh. Oh, don't ask me to do that. I can't. Please, for me? I'm no I'm good on the I have phone. I'm my chicken out the last minute. If you love me, do it for me. <coughs> go on. Okay. Uh, is that a yes? Okay, let's make it. The whole band was listening? Hmm. National 2 9000. Hmm. You have reached a bald man. Plus one for... Lieutenant Man, pick up suspect Eddie Crane at Universal Recorder. Okay. Hey, quit whining. Friday left there bubbling with the blues. Hey, what's this? I found a wheat penny. Hmm, this is juicy fruit. Meet George Jetson. Ha! Oh. Adventures just drove by. <laughs> okay, that was fine, Eddie. Real fine. I didn't start yet. You want to hear the playback? Can you hold it a minute? I'll be right back. Yeah, sure. You bet. Going to see if there's any ham sandwiches left. Well, I've been bald since I was 40. And... Oh, great. She's checking your bank balance. Uh, are you doing? Good. Are I have the gas meter reader. <laughs> this is an old joke. Hey, Eddie. Oh, hi, Moon. How was your spree? <laughs> Thanks. All done, man. <laughs> I'll be right back. I gotta help him cinch his pants up. Well, what do you know? It says right here that soup is good food. Hey. Hi, Eddie. Surprised to see your old buddy. Oh, is he here? Yeah. I thought you'd be out of town by now. Where you been? You loaded? No, no, I'm not loaded. I'm tired, man. I've had a day. You know something, Moon? They're looking for you. Yeah? You too, huh? I like that yeah. band. Sure glad to see you, Moon. No kidding, Eddie? Well, I thought you'd be mad. Boy, that's... The way I leaned on old Bayless. <laughs> Boy, I really got him, didn't I, Eddie? Oh, I got him good. This is so intense. I've done it for you, for me, huh? You know something? It's always for me, isn't it? I went back into that bar. That fat barkeep, Charlie, said he was... What are you talking about? You're not talking about well, the Well, that's his name. It's Fat W. Barkeep. I'm talking about Bayless. 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 Mm. Barkeep was his best work. He's never yes, topped Bayless. himself. He said he was going to tell the cops and they'd take you away and burn you. You know something, Moon? You're so sick you don't even know when you're lying. 
Oh, Eddie, what are you saying? Oh, he's too drunk to even know he's I've done it for trash. you, man. So you could be a big shot. Did you read these in papers, Eddie? Come on, man. Shot. Read him about this, man. Shot. You're a punk. I'm oh, not a punk. I'm a new romantic, all right? And after I come all this way so we could go off together like we always did. <laughs> you, you remember that store, Eddie, we always used to hold up? Well, I was thinking we could get down there and grab us some quick loop and get down to Mexico and be bandidos. Yes, and then we can ride Yoshi to the Mushroom Kingdom. How does that move you, Eddie, man? We're going somewhere together. But it ain't going to be Mexico. Going up the river, the big house, the pen, the hooskow, the clink, the lock -up. Turn me in, I'll turn you in. You're a decent human well, being. No, I'm awful glad you said that, Eddie. Because now I can tell you why I really came. I was going to wait like I down to Mexico, but now's a good time as any man. Grammar, Moon. Grammar. I'm going to get you. And then I'm going to get you good. Now I'm going to spread you all over the ceiling. There it is. You know, this is how I imagine Dean Moriarty. Come on, punk. Get me. I'm here. Easy opening hand. You know, if any real beatniks come by, it's really going to be embarrassing. Eddie! Eddie! Eddie, break time's over. We're ready for you. Eddie, look out! Another break in continuity! I hate you, Gamble Gamblet. I hate you. Wait a minute. Do that in a 5 8. I think you've got something there. Yeah. Uh, Eddie, uh, we really need you to finish your hit record. Uh, your little friend will still be in the garbage can when we're done. Oh, that's good for the quads, you know? seen any hoodlums around here? All right, show's over. Nothing to see here. Go home, people. I'm Eddie Crane. Uh, let's go. Hey, give me a second, will you? Uh, 1001. Hey, I'd uh, like a little of that action, too, if you don't mind. Uh, then we gotta go. Come on, plenty of time for that in the big house. <laughs> Scooch over, I'm right in shotgun. You two play nice or I'll turn this thing around. Let that be a lesson to you. <laughs> Morrissey was in this. No, no wonder it was so depressing. Yeah, no wonder what's going to happen to him. Oh, five to ten. Mm. Now he'll hire a high power beatnik lawyer. Mm. <laughs> you know, Joel, I have to say, this was the best Tony Travis film I've ever seen. Well, for once, I'm going to have to agree with you, little buddy. Huh. Have you uh, seen Crow around? Uh, yeah, I saw him running after Gypsy with a knife. Well, okay, well, uh, this is a letter. I think it's time to read it. It's from okay. a woman named C in Pearl City, Hawaii. Let's put that on still store. Okay, Hello, C. <laughs> okay, and that, and uh, C writes, Dear Joel and the Bots, Forced into the bleak isolation of my room by an angry mother, my punishment is to write I will not call my mom a dickweed a million times. Huh. Um, before I begin this seemingly impossible task, I must know in the interest of justice for all, is dickweed a swear word? Uh, uh, no. Yes. Uh, yes. No. Uh, 
No. No, <laughs> no it's definitely not a swear word. No, nope, it's clean. You're cool. You can stop writing. I will not call my mom a dick. Where'd she go, man? Where'd she go? <laughs> Crow, put that rubber knife away. You're scaring Gypsy. I did it for you, Eddie. Uh -oh. oh, great. He's in moon mode again. Ooh, that's right. And now I'm going to moon you, man. I'm going to moon you. Well, that's going to be tough because you really don't have a hinder to speak of. That's it. That's it. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. 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 Take care of my turtle. I will, Tommy. Stop my milk delivery. Oh, okay, I will. I Pick will do it. Pick up my mail. Cancel. Subscription to National Review. Okay. Continue to tape day watch for me. All right. Take my step aerobics class every Tuesday. All right. Uh, come on. Okay, come on. Get up here. Come on, you two. Come on. Face forward. Say the words. Come on. Okay. What do you think, sirs? Dickweed. Well, Joe, there's a lot of heat around us now. Several toy companies are interested in making dolls in our likeness, and we're taking a lot of meetings today. Who's going to drive your pumpiness? Push the button, Frank. Uh, push the button. I'll do it. Uh. Wait, wait, wait. Ooh. Here at Comedy Central, you've been watching Mystery Science Theater 3000. You can watch Mystery Science Theater every Friday night at midnight, every Saturday at 10 a.m. and 7 p.m. Right now, it's time for the A-List. Join host Richard Lewis from Anything But Love as he has a routine of his own and then introduces some of the top stand-up comedians. That's the A-List with Richard Lewis next, right here at Comedy Central. been a presentation from Comedy Central. Tonight at Comedy Central, Richard Lewis